we're doing a Dragonfall video. We're at Grognard, uh, who have been a great supporter of Dragonfall and our charitable efforts throughout these years. Probably wouldn't gotten as far without these guys. So we've got, uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? Or, yeah. Sure. Right. Uh, I'm Adrian Garvin, Todd Warren, owners of Grognard Games. Grognard Games, Roselle, Illinois' Roselle, finest Illinois. establishment. Find us on all the social medias. Yeah. Yes. www. Do you have to still say the www dot? You got to do it the HTTP slash S2. I don't so. even know what that means, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Grognardgames.com. Super hard to find on all the internets. And uh, all the you guys media. got a Facebook and a Twitter and an Instagram and all that too? Sure do. No TikTok yet, but we're working on it. So we'll see. Got to work on the moves first? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't have a, we don't have a Grognard, uh, Grognard dance yet. But. How long have you guys been a store here? So we've been here for just over, well, be, actually, we're getting close to four years. So over three years, be uh, four years this uh, November, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. And this is your second attempt at a store, correct? My, personally, my second attempt at a store. My first store uh, opened in 02, 02 to 05, uh, not too far down the road, right here in Schaumburg. We're in Roselle right now. Our backyard is Schaumburg, so we were right down the street. Crooked Hat Games, that was... Um, Small store, a lot of fun, learned a lot, um, learned a lot what not to do. Yeah. Uh, and I met some great friends, including my great friend Adrian Garvin. That's how I met Adrian from Crooked Hat Games. So if I went for that store, not only could we not have existed just because I learned so much about owning and uh, opening a store, I met my friend Adrian and was able to become a partner. So yeah. yeah. And so you were able to sucker in your clientele into starting a <laughs> new <laughs> robust he store. Didn't have to twist my arm very hard. I mean <laughs> met a lot of great memories from that store and uh, a great community already attached, so that made it a really easy choice. Yeah. So with um, like what's the, the what, what differentiates Grognard from your local uh, friendly local game store? Like from, your standard from other friendly store. local game stores? Yeah. So, uh, I would say a couple things when, well, I, I guess when we talked about opening the store, what, what we always, you know, what we wanted to do was open the game store that we always wanted to hang out in, right? So, we talked about what the other game stores had and didn't have, and tried to pick the best things out of the other game stores and put them into ours. And so, things that we absolutely knew we wanted to have was play space. And so, you know, we look at the store, about half of our store is play space. So. Mm -hmm. Full-size tables, card tables, things like that. So um, other game stores have had play space, but we've got a significant amount of it and a variety of it and things that people can uh, use and you know, train and all that kind of stuff. So that was, a, that was a very important thing to us, for sure. Kind of segues into being a game space-oriented store. How has 2020 and the pandemic affected you guys? And are you guys pivoting at all? Like, or is it just Yeah, there's, there's for been a, a number of pivots that we've had to okay. take. Um, but thankfully, the community has responded very positively and they're very supportive of us as we've moved through these sort of difficult changes. But probably the biggest thing we had to do was move most of our inventory online and become uh, present in like the internet, sure. uh, as opposed to just relying on our physical location. And then of course, as all the laws and rules changed for COVID, we had to adjust the way we were interacting with our customers and the way that they could shop from us. So yeah. it's forced some changes, but uh, I think all along we've, we've had great support from our customers and we've been able to weather this storm in a, in a real positive way. I saw you were offering online gift cards which was a great idea, and I'm glad you guys did that. Yeah. Picked up a couple. That, that actually came out of from a customer uh, asking us if they could purchase those. Again, like that support was really there from the- I remember whining to Todd about it. Yeah, people were wanting to support us, and so we had to go find a way to let people give us money. So uh, we, uh, it was very, and, and honestly, it was, you know, it's a little cliche, but it was, it was truly, I mean, it was, it was heartwarming, it was amazing, it was great. I mean, we got literally thousands and dollars Thousands of dollars of gift cards, people just buying things from us. We had, at that time, you know, we had no clue. Nobody had any idea what closed. was going to happen. Were we were closed. literally yeah. closed. Yeah. Doors were shut and locked. We didn't know what, really when we were going to open. Nobody kind of knew what was going to happen. And people were just opening their wallets and giving it, giving us money. And, you know, I think, you know, Adrian said the word community earlier, and that's truly what it is. Like, that was the, the uh, play space was one when we opened, and two was community. We really mm -hmm. both enjoy a, a sense of community that you can get from a store like this becomes your third space right you get your your home and your work and you need that third space to go hang out with your friends and 
participate in the community and, and uh, we we did I think we did a pretty good job of fostering that and they really paid us back hugely when you know this kind of catastrophe occurred so we can't thank everybody enough for helping us out with that yeah do you, do you think uh, this is kind of almost a little off topic but like a, a brand new store that didn't have you know you guys had three years of momentum right. which is not an insane amount of time right know? but if we think if this was your first year, it's a, this is a survivable environment for a new game store? We talked about that, and, <laughs> and, and really, it's, it's not. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really difficult place, and, and you can just take a look around and see some of the stores that have closed and some of the challenges that small businesses have in this environment. And unless they had deep pockets or big reserves, they wouldn't have had time to build up the type of clientele that would have been required to carry them through. Sure. And so the best thing you can do to support your local game store during this pandemic what, what's that uh, it's it's really straightforward right it's mm -hmm. just go and, and frequent your mm -hmm. local game store make purchases there by direct yeah, yeah. Every, everybody's uh, amazon habits are probably way higher than they used to be i know <laughs> you and i are both guilty of that oh, for yeah. sure yeah um but uh, we've also seen a huge outpouring of um you know patronage from from everybody you know, it turns out, uh, you know, during a, a, a worldwide global pandemic, people need things to do when they're quarantined. So it's been great that we have a lot of hobby stuff and, and things for people to do. But, you, you've uh, we been do doing the deep dive into <laughs> Battletech. Yeah, seen. yeah. So we appreciate people coming in and buying stuff online or coming into the store and buying stuff here rather than clicking Amazon. If you can't get it from them, you know, come on up. Come on. Come get it from us. We, we really very, very Yeah, I mean, direct, direct sales, even if you're doing it. Are you, are you guys doing shipping to people now? Or? We are. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Absolutely. So. Yeah, I'll have that information in the actual uh, links in the in the bottom of this, sure. so that'll be great. Um, all right, give me a humorous story. Uh, shoplifter gone wrong. <laughs> we haven't had any shoplifters that any, well that we know of. That we know <laughs> of. in this in this store. So well, you know you know of one. So that's great. But, you know, he's your friend. <laughs> he's my friend. That's okay. Yeah. Um, we we always just put it on his account and charge him later, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, Got to get your rocks off somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it makes him happy. We get paid. We don't care. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you have any 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 crazy any crazy no no table nerd? flipping during an event? Or we anything? have we have no. had very few um, upset or angry customers or players or even mask wearers. Like you know, we're, we're all wearing masks right now. We've had very few very little of that go on. My buddy owns a bar in Milwaukee, and that's been a problem for him. Milwaukee, yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, with the masks, yeah. 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 So That's we, well, I find this very disappointing that you can't give me some salacious some story. Juicy, some juicy, some <laughs> juicy. <laughs> Sorry, we're all just we all just really get along with each other here, and, and this is a friendly, fun place. Sorry. All right, we'll close out with what you guys have been playing, and what's, what are you excited about right now? Oh, good grief! What are we been playing? Um, a lot of online Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Um, not MMO, but Roll Twenty. Roll Twenty and, and okay. reaching out to, to old friends, like even from high school, and playing games that you never would in normal circumstance but under covid all bets yeah. are off so yeah. I, i've been i've been playing warhammer fantasy role play with some friends on discord nice and it's been going it's been That's a lot awesome. of fun yeah second edition or die played a little D and D. I've been uh, you mentioned it earlier i decided to get into battletech again after 30 plus years they came out with some new uh new box sets and new reprinted all the books and so it's kind of what's old is new again and it's the same game from 35 years ago, but now they're putting out new plastic mechs and new box sets, and so the stuff's easier to get and easier to easier to get more people into the game now. And so we've been doing a lot of that. And in fact, we're going to play tonight. So yeah. fantastic! All right, well, everybody, if you're in the area, check out Grognar Games or their website. Just www.grognargames.com.